This is a 1938 Hue and Pine boat, fully restored by the Wooden Boat Centre at Franklin. Uh, less than a year ago it was a half sunken hulk in the Hewan River. And now it's uh, beautifully restored um, and we've converted it to electric so it runs very quietly with no vibration. The motor's 5 kilowatts target full power but it cruises at about 1 kilowatt. A bit more, maybe 1200 watts. Cool. So, what we have here at the heart of the electric boat is uh, 1630 amp hour lithium ferric phosphate cells, 3.2 volt cells. That gives us about uh, 50 volts, thereabouts. Something in the order of uh, seven or eight kilowatt hours right there. in the motor at 50 volts, so order of one kilowatt. The reality of it is with this kind of uh, displacement hull, if you run at hull speed or lower you get very nice range. So if you run at speed five, uh, you get five knots for six hours, or you can, you can go at six knots for one hour and ten minutes. So take your pick. Well, what you're looking at there is the uh, battery management electronics. So you can see that each cell has its own uh, battery management electronics to protect it against high and low voltages. And then that grey cable that goes across all the cell boards, that's the communications cable. So the way this system works is every six seconds or, or however much time you want, the controller, the battery management controller, interrogates the cells by number and asks each one of them how they're feeling and what their voltage is and then um, reports uh, to the operator through the, the console and this uh, meter here reads the working voltage range just the working range in percent okay here we go in the full power Okay, so here on the control panel you've got your master key, emergency cutoff. So if, if there's something wrong with the system, you just punch that button and it's all cut off. And then reset it like so. And this here is forward, stop, reverse. And what stop, the central position stop, actually, actually uh, shorts the motor windings and pulls the motor up dead, it stops it freewheeling. Not that that's an issue with this boat, so it's nice and simple. Um, to go forwards on in, in the forward direction and then adjust the speed knob to suit. And to go into reverse, you have to go to zero, back to zero speed, and then through off position and into reverse, and then wind up the knob. 